I know you've told the story a million times, but tell everybody how this thing became what it is and how you got to where you are now. So, so I, I started writing um, a long time ago, <laughs> before the turn of the century, I don't, <laughs> no, a long time ago, and I was writing speculative fiction. And, yeah. uh, there was a speculative fiction convention in town. And uh, at one point I found out about it and started attending. And I started volunteering. And then uh, from that, I did a bid for WesterCon to mm. come to Calgary, and that came. I did a bid for World Fantasy to come to Calgary, and that came. And then uh, a couple of years after that, the Speculative Fiction Festival kind of collapsed. Mm. Times change. Yeah, you know, yeah. time, times change, and my work yesterday doesn't work today. Yeah. And, and uh, myself and some others were at this last year, predicting it was the last year. Yeah. Uh, they had no you could smell that, right? They, yeah, they, they had no intention of it being the last year, but yeah, we're yeah. sitting there going, you know, this is the last year. What are we? How are we going to network now? Yeah, right? yeah. How are we going to network now? And so I said, well, you know, we, we could do our own small event because that uh, that was a fan event. You know, mm. it's got the art the art show and the costume contest. Yeah, and, sure. And, and the filking and you name it, it was everything. <laughs> and I'm going, well, you know, uh, we're all in, we're all into books. Yeah. Uh, I like the other stuff too. But I don't want to volunteer a lot of my time to make that happen, even, sure. though, even though I enjoy it. Yeah. My, my heart is in literature. Yeah. So I go, well, why don't we just do a, you know, a books only event? And uh, it'll be less work to do. And we'll still have our, our networking opportunities and whatnot. And people go, oh, yeah, that sounds good. And then I go, but, but you know, maybe. <laughs> uh, let's not limit ourselves to speculative fiction. Right, right, yeah. You know, because there are no other uh, conventions in town for any genre. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was the only one in Calgary. Um, there were a couple of smaller society events for other organizations, mm -hmm. but nothing public, right? Right, right. And so they go, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And people go, I, I read other genres, too. So we go, well, let's... So let's Organize it for next summer. So this is like 10 months we've got, right? <laughs> and uh, we go, let's budget for 150 people. Uh, you know, we think we can get 150 people. We'll, we'll be fine. And so we, uh, we went through all the uh, motions to make it happen. We reached out to the various writers groups in yeah. town in, in different genres, you know, crime writers and romance writers and uh, young adults and whatnot. And it said, hey, um, you, you've never gone to any thing like this but come to ours <laughs> and uh, we had like 280 people show up oh wow um, and so it was very very successful people loved it and then we grew about 40 percent every year yeah uh, until now we are 800 people which is bigger than the speculative fiction convention ever was in its 22 year history yeah uh, because we're multi-genre yeah Plus, we've gone and taken things that we like at other conventions. Say, oh, this convention did this, we like that, let's do it. Uh, and so we've kind of got a mix of things like Surrey International Writers Conference, we've got mm. some of what they do. Mm. World Fantasy, we've got a lot of what they do. Mm. Um, and uh, people like it. Yeah. What, what's, what's something uh, over the years that you've really uh, thought, you know, what, what's something right now that you're really excited that, that just started happening for this conference. Uh, well, last year we started an art show. Yeah, so that was the first year last that year. That was the first year last year. Wow. So I, I have worked on art shows because I did the WesterCon and the uh -huh. World Fantasy and uh, the people who volunteered to make that happen kind of volunteered. <laughs> and so while chairing those events, I also had to work on art shows. So I know how much work it requires and I know why people are volunteered because <laughs> it, it was it was more more than they thought it was. Right, okay? right. And so uh, we have artists that attend uh, when it's Clyde, and we said we will if artists want to put on a show, we will provide space. Nice. Uh, we're just not going to do the administration for it. Mm. And uh, so uh, a few years back, some artists said, "Yeah, well, we'll, we'll do it." Uh, and I said, okay, we just got to find the right space for it. Because yeah. one of the biggest problems of, of an art show is lighting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, the hotel here two years ago renovated one of the rooms on the second floor. And two of the walls are windows. Uh. And we thought, okay, we've got space now. Yeah. Okay. So we went to the artists who had volunteered, and not only one of them was left volunteering. <laughs> Uh, but she put on a show last year and it was fantastic. Nice. And then she put on the show this year. Nice. So I'm excited about that. I, I like 
uh, for me, art is is very closely related to literature. Mm -hmm. uh, words, you know, words and pictures. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, when you read a book, you you're building those images in absolutely. your head, right? Yeah, absolutely. And what the artists do is they build those images on canvas. Yeah. So I, I find them very closely associated. Nice. How much discussion goes into increasing the amount of people that come? Because you have a cap on, uh -huh. on the people that come. Is that always the first discussion that happens? So, so actually, it doesn't require a lot of discussion. Yeah. Uh, when we first started, we said we do not want to get too big. Yeah. So that it becomes impersonal. Uh, myself, I've been to a few. <laughs> Which is one of the magics of this conference. Yes. I've been to a few world cons. Mm -hmm. I stopped going. Yeah. I go. I, I go to world con and I feel like I'm just shuffling in a crowd. Yeah. Um, they're they're fantastic events. Yeah. And they're some people love the huge crowds. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a fan of crowds. So yeah. right off the get go, we said uh, we're not going to get too big. The discussion ever since has been how is how big is too big. Yeah. And so uh, our first cap, I think, was at 600. And then we're going. Uh, will we lose our atmosphere at 650? Well, let's mm. try it. And, and we've tried it last year with 750, this mm. year it's 800. And we don't have the capacity, I think, to go beyond 800. And I don't think we've lost uh, the atmosphere. Right, no. Either, so I think we're gonna be stuck here now at 800 going forward. I noticed this year from last year, there's a lot more going on on this side of the building than there was last year. This, the, was that a conscious decision on your guys' part to kind of incorporate this side of the building a lot more? Um, no, um, we, we're using the same space. Mm -hmm. uh, the hotel added this interview room, mm -hmm. so this wasn't here before. Right, so now which is nice space. for me. So now we've got this space, <laughs> and um, uh, some of the programming has moved a bit because uh, we put up uh, projectors in this building mm -hmm. and sound systems in the other building. Mm -hmm. So anyone who needs a projector, they have to be in a room in this building. Mm -hmm. nice. And then we've got a few people that are soft spoken. And so they have to be in the other building. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, it's really a matter of when Just uh, logistics. Present, presenter availability is really the main thing. Mm. Is uh, we don't want to, we don't like scheduling people back to back. Uh, some people like to do a lot, which means you got to kind of work everybody else around right. them. It, it, yeah, it, it's a big uh, recipe thing. That's 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 uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs>